Okay, uh, good morning, everybody. So this is uh, the training for, for the opener's position. And uh, let's, let's talk about the diver usage first. Um, I think we already have this uh, user manual, but we're gonna go over it again. So please bear with me, I'm going to share my screen. Is anybody familiar with uh, ready mode? Um, it used to be called Senko. It's, it's, a, it's a power dialer. Has anybody used Senko before or ready mode? Okay, so ready mode, it's the dialer we use to make phone calls. This is the URL you need to access. This is how the login screen looks like. So I'm gonna give you your username and password so you can access here. The first time you access, it is going to request permission to use your microphone. Please uh, allow the system to access to your microphone. And then it is gonna ask you to run the setup wizard, the audio setup wizard. So please um, run the audio setup wizard because um, that's how you make sure your microphone and headset is working properly. And during this uh, brief training about the dialer, we're gonna talk about how to take calls, how to transfer the calls. Remember, remember transferring is the main objective of your activity. So this is very important. We're gonna show you the call dispositions also, we're gonna see how to access the dialer uh, settings for, for the phone. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do callbacks. And also, I'm going to show you how to take incoming calls. As you know, we make hundreds of calls per hour, and some of those homeowners will call back. And we have the ability to pick up those callbacks. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, at this point, is there any questions, any comments? Nope. Excellent. It's all pretty clear. Yeah, actually, this is this is self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna get it uh, right away. I mean, the, the hardest part is the transfer process. That, that's where, where new openers struggle the most. But if you guys pay attention, if you guys get it, you will not have any problems. That's why that's why we created this document so we can give you like a step by step guideline on how to transfer the calls. Because um the auxiliaries is very easy. I mean prep work. That's when you start your day, the system will automatically put you in prep work. So when you start your day, you have to go to ready. If you go to ready the calls will start coming in. Then we have break. You remember that you guys have 15 minutes uh, for break during your shift. So whenever you have break, go here. And then uh, we don't use lunch. Uh, training, if we call you out for training, you use this auxiliary. Um, meeting, if we request to have a meeting with you guys, you go here, meeting. Um, last call. This last call disposition is at the end of your day, let's say you're taking your very last call. It's already 250, I don't know, 259, 255 Pacific Standard Time. And then you know that's your last call. So what's gonna happen is that um, you use this auxiliary while you're on the call. So that way you block the dialer from sending you an extra call and you just log out. From the left upper corner, you'll see the sign out button the log out and that's um that's all you need to do um and then inbound only that's again like i said when we receive callbacks from homeowners we are going to use this inbound only so we we stop the dialer from sending extra calls and uh, at the end we have the callback auxiliary when you guys need to make manual callbacks this is what you're going to use okay so at this point is there any questions about the dispositions. 
I'm sorry, <laughs> this is the auxiliary, my bad. Is there any questions about the auxiliaries? No. Um, um, I have a, a, a question, uh, Arturo, uh, and it's for the, for the recording. So it's only the experience, sorry to interrupt. Uh, and I would also like to know if, if later, can, I'm, can I hear this again so I could like follow? Because I'm not following because I, I, I forgot to, to do the recording stuff and all this uh, link that I, I missed the last time. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I will give you, I, I will share with you guys the recording. No problem. Okay, thank you. No problem. Right, so um, let's move to the, to the main screen. This is how the dialer is going to look like when you guys take calls. Uh, Sergio, are you here with us? Thank you, sir. Oye, hazme un favor, Sergio. En, en, en el... Job application form de Solvide, métete ahí por favor para que me ayudes a hacerle los usuarios a Matilde, a Jorge, a Dana y a Odín. Y, y hazles llegar por correo su, el, el, el URL para el dialer, eh, usuario y contraseña, por favor. ¿Me lo compartiste por el Drive? Sí. Bueno. Si sí, tienes acceso en tu correo de Solvide. Eh, Damas y caballeros, él es Sergio Rosado, él es eh, nuestro soporte técnico, entonces cualquier cosa que, que necesiten de soporte, él los va a poder ayudar. Eh, cuando, cuando terminemos este training, los voy a agregar a su grupo de WhatsApp y ahí les voy a presentar a su team lead y a, a, a etiqueto a Sergio para que se puedan referir con él. Um, okay, so let's continue. This is how the screen looks like. On the left hand side, you have all your dispositions. In the center, you have the contact history. You also have your script. And in the right hand side, there is the contact information. So on the, in the right upper corner, we have the, the, the homeowner's information. And in the right lower corner, you will see the soft phone. And very important. Uh, you have to please enter notations. Whatever happens during your conversation, the, the most important elements of your of your call, please make sure you type it in here. Okay, so that's that's the screen. That's pretty easy. This positions on the left hand side, contact history and scripts in the middle, and then the homeowner's information and the soft phone in the right hand side. This is the soft phone. This is how it looks like. And I will show you how to use it in one moment. Let's talk about the transfer process. Again, this is the most important part of this training right now. This is how you're going to transfer. It's a three-step process. First step, you click the transfer button right here on top of the dialer. We don't use this transfer button right here, the one on, on the underneath the end call button. We don't use that one. What we use is this one right here, the, the specialist transfer button. So when you press this button, what's going to happen? It's going to pop up a new phone line right above your dialer. So when you see these three, these three phone lines open, it means the dialer is trying to reach out for an, for an SP1, for an, for an appointment setting. And once this portion of the dialer highlights green, it means that you are connected with an appointment setter, with an SP1. So when you see these lighting up green, that's when you do what we call the hands-off. That's the second step. During the hands-off, it's super important that you guys keep it professional. You have to present yourself, then you introduce the customer and you ask the SP1 for further assistance. That's, it, it's, it's, it's very, it's mandatory that you state your name, you have to say your name, then you introduce the homeowner and you ask for further assistance to the energy, to the appointment setter. Um, I'm gonna give you an example. Hi, uh, Johnny, uh, my name is Arthur. I have Mrs. Smith on the phone. She's a homeowner, she is paying over a hundred dollars. Can you please give her more information about the program? And that's it. And then you transfer over. Once you are certain, once you're 100% for sure that the homeowner 
and the SP1 are talking to each other, then that's that's when you disconnect the call. For you to be able to disconnect the call, all you need to do is click twice the successful successful transfer disposition right here. If you click it twice, that is going to disconnect your call. Now, if for some reason the successful transfer disposition is not disconnecting your call, all you need to do is click end call right here. That's it. Okay, so and that's it. That's the, that's a chester process. Click the energy specialist transfer button, hand the hands off, and this position. Three steps. Is there any questions about the transfer process? No, that's all, right. that's all pretty clear. Yes, it's, it's like I said at the very beginning. It's, it's super simple, but now it is very easy because we have this document, right? Because before it was hard to explain how it happens, but now uh, it's um, it's pretty easy. Uh, hang on. Hi, John. Hey, how's it going? I, I apologize. I, I was ready really early this morning. But for some reason, uh, I had all these links that were not letting me in until I saw my cell phone and you had sent me, I guess, a, a link through 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 uh, through my WhatsApp, and I finally found the the link. So I apologize for for being late. No, don't worry about it. Uh, we're we're recording the meeting, so I, I told them that we're gonna have uh, thirty minutes uh, of of training for the dialer. Um, okay. I need you guys to give me 30 minutes because I have to attend the meeting right now uh, in five minutes. And then 30 minutes later, we're going to retake this conversation to go over the script. But so far, um, we are recording the meeting and I'm going to share with you guys the recording. So during the following 30 minutes, you guys are going to be able to, to review the recording. Okay. So let's, let's go over the dispositions. All of these dispositions are, are self-explanatory. Not available. That's when the customer wants to get you off, wants to get you off the phone. They have no time. They just they just want to hang up. So that's not available. Callback. That's for manual callbacks. Not interested. That's easy. Do not call when they request not to receive any more calls. Wrong information. That's when the information we have on record is not matched with the information you have on the phone. Not a homeowner, that's easy. Robot calls. Robot calls, that's when we reach an IVR, or let's say we have, um, you know, those um, artificial artificial intelligence machines that big, company, big companies are using now. If you happen to reach one of those, you have to disposition it as robot calls. I already saw it true up. When, when homeowners already have solar panels installed, they receive a yearly bill from the utility company. This yearly bill, it's called the true up. If they pay more than $1,200 a year in the true up, it's okay for us to transfer them over to an appointment center. If they pay less than $1,200 a year for electricity having solar panels, we cannot help them. And that's when you disposition it as already solid true up. Is there any questions about that? All right. Low power bill, if they pay less than $100, that's a low power bill. Email request, we don't send information via email. What this is going to do, it is going to trigger an automated callback in 24 hours. Successful transfer, this is, what you, this is what you should be looking for for successful transfers. Voicemail, not qualified. They don't qualify if they have a bad credit, right now they have a bad credit score, if they have a bankruptcy, if they are uh, under foreclosure, then um, they, they won't qualify. Or if they have a mobile home, if they have a trailer, um, apartments, condominiums, duplex. We don't deal with any of that. We only uh, assist uh, single family houses, okay? And right here, you have all kinds of information about the dispositions. Look, there is a detailed description for each disposition. 
And there is also what action each disposition triggers. So you can, uh, you guys can check it out later. Now, the settings. If you click on the little branch right here from, from your soft phone, you guys are gonna access the, the dialer settings. Here is where you can uh, manage the volume. Um, please make sure you have selected the correct uh, device for your microphone. Now, callbacks. Um, if you need to make a callback, first thing you wanna do is go here to the callback auxiliary, and then you just type the phone number you wanna call right here in the bottom of the dialer. You type the phone number, click call, and that's it. You're gonna be calling the homeowner you, you want you want to call it back. And at the end, like I said, we are making hundreds of calls every hour. Some of those homeowners will call back. When they call back, what you need to do is go to the inbound only auxiliary right here, inbound only. And then you will see this pop-up screen right here, like this pop-up window. The the it's it's a blue square with a gray background, and it's going to show the phone number from the person who's calling us back. All you need to do is click the answer button, and that's it. You'll be talking to the homeowner, and that's it. Uh, for the ones of you who were late, um. I'm going to send you the recording because we were recording this meeting. So you. you guys have 30 minutes to review this recording. And then after 30 minutes, please, uh, well, let me, let me end the, the recording.